Assalamu alaikum. Today we will start the second law of thermodynamics. Okay, first law we can say about what he said. I am not just placing around. I am conserving energy. Even the first law of thermodynamics is about the conserving conserving energy okay and it is not something I do for fun it's the law you can look at this picture the cartoon by Erin uh, Stelman okay what does the second law tell us second law of thermodynamic dynamic tell us about the entropy and temperature. And then, first law about the conservation of energy. And the second law of thermodynamic is about the entropy and temperature. Also, the third law tell us about the entropy and te temperature. OK. <clears throat> What do you mean by irreversible process? Irreversible process, all natural occurring process, proceed in one direction only. Then, such spontaneous one-way process are irreversible. It can be in the spontaneous process, and in one way, this is irreversible. So irreversible like hydrogen, carbon combustion, like the burning of wood or oil or radioactive decay. This is example about the irreversible process. Reversible process and reversible the system and environment will return to their original condition. Even reversible, even turn state start from state and return to the original state or original conditions. Reversible, مثلا, this this solution of salt into water, مثلا reaction of oxygen and hydrogen to form the water, phase change like freezing, freezing or boiling of water. This is all a process example about the reversible process. Okay, more example a process that are usually idealized as to time and as reversible include metal and frictionless movement, restraints, compression, or expansion, energy transfer as heat due to infinitesimal temperature, non uniformity, metal and electric current flow through a zero resistance, or restrained chemical reaction or mixing of two examples of same substance at the same state. And the process that are irreversible include method of movement with the friction, unrestrained expansion, energy transfer as heat due large temperature, non-uniformities, or electric current flow through a non-zero resistance. Spontaneous chemical reaction or mixing of matter of different composition or state. This is a reversible process. Physical properties of matter are categorized as either intensive or extensive. Intensive properties that don't depend on the amount of the matter present. هي الخصائص لا تعتمد على كمية المادة مثل الكرر أو الدوستر 
how shiny substance is, malleability, the ability of substance to be beaten into the thin sheet, uh, ductility, the ability of substance to be drawn into thin wire, conductivity, the ability of substance to allow to flow energy or electricity hardens, how easily substance can be scratched, melting, freezing point, boiling point, density. And the extensive, the properties that do depends on the amount of amount present, metal mass, a measure, a measurement of amount of matter, an object, and weight, a measurement of gravitational force of attraction of the earth acting on an object, volume, uh, measurements of the amount of space substance occupies, length, entropy. Okay. Even the second law can be stated that heat flows spontaneously from a hot object to cold object. What do you mean by spontaneously? Spontaneously means without assistance of external work. If you have to do work, first law of thermodynamic, we have the work. The second, also the second law of thermodynamic introduce the rotation of entropy. إذا كمان بقدمنا اللي بحكي لنا كمان بحكي لنا عن الانتروبي which is a measure of system disorder order ترتيب disorder إذا system غير مرتب so U is the quantity of the system energy and S is the quality of the system energy entropy S the quality of the system energy. So the second law help us to determine the preferred direction of a process. A reversible process is one which can change state and then return to the original state. In the manner reversible, it can change state and then return to the original state. Start from, and you know, in thermodynamic, what we mean by these states, isobaric, isothermal process, adiabatic process, we mentioned these uh, process uh, in, uh, before uh, lectures or in the previous uh, lectures. So this is an idealized condition. All real process are irreversible. Even cooler process are irreversible. Start from state and return to the origin state. Or from start from initial state and reverse to uh, to final, uh, from initial state to final state and reverse from final state to initial state. Okay, the second law of thermodynamic that we have this two system, we have T1 and hot and we have another container at temperature two and it's cold. So we have heat transfer from T1 to T2 with delta Q. So delta S, the entropy, equal delta Q over T, the temperature. So there exists a useful thermodynamic variable called entropy, a natural process that stayed in one equilibrium, equilibrium state and ends on another will go in the direction that causes the entropy of the system plus the environment, plus the environment that causes the entropy of the system plus 
to increase for an irreversible process and to remain constant for the reversible process. So for reserve reversible process, S, the entropy final equal the entropy initial. But if the entropy final greater than the entropy initial, this is a reversible process. So ds always akbar out to say zero. It's never negative. Okay, it's never negative. Okay, uh, I will end this lecture at this point and in next lecture we will continue about the uh, entropy and the second law of thermodynamics.